Hello everyone, welcome to Dark Souls 2. I'm really excited to be playing this. Let me very briefly explain my history with the Dark Souls franchise so you know where I'm coming from with this. Okay, so I never actually played the original Dark Souls. I watched tons and tons of streams, quite possibly over a hundred hours of streams of the original, but I never played it myself. It made me want to play it. For various reasons, I, I didn't, but it made me want to play a Dark Souls game, and now that Dark Souls 2 has finally come out on PC and it's a much better port, I figured I'd finally dive in. The thing about all my watching of the original Dark Souls, though, is that I was watching passively. You know, even though I know quite a bit about the game, I know how, in general, it's designed and how it's supposed to work, but I was just watching it, and I wasn't really studying it for to try to figure out how it works or anything like that, so a lot of it might not have sunk in. And I think a lot of the fun of the Dark Souls franchise is figuring things out for yourself. And as such, I made sure that I'm going in fully blind to Dark Souls 2, and I'm going to stay that way. So what that means is that even though it came out about a month ago on consoles, I have not seen any streams of Dark Souls 2. I haven't seen any Let's Plays. I haven't looked at any wikis. I haven't even read any reviews. I, I pretty much don't know anything about this game, and I've made sure that stays true. And I'm going to make sure that stays true um, throughout it, in terms of outside sources. So I'm not going to use any wikis to try to figure things out. I'm not going to try to look up hints or anything like that. I may change my mind if I end up getting stuck for maybe 10 hours in one section, but I'm going to try really, really, really hard not to have any outside knowledge whatsoever about this game. I want to figure it all out for myself, if I can, and I really hope I can. I think it'll be really interesting to see how I do with no help at all. And as such, if you're looking for somebody who's going to get through the game fast, if you're looking for pro strategies or anything like that, or someone who's not going to be dying all the time, then you're looking in the wrong place. I'm just going to say that right away. I'm going to die a lot. I'm going to get a lot of things wrong, and you're going to want to scream at the screen. So I may not be the right person to watch. That's up to you. And as such, because I want to stay completely blind going through this, I don't want anybody to tell me any tips or hints, or spoilers of any kind, big or small. I'll say that again. No tips, no hints, no spoilers of any kind, big or small. None. I've seen a lot of streams of the original Dark Souls, and I know that with Dark Souls, it, it seems like everybody and their grandmother and their grandmother's dog wants to backseat game. Don't do that. I will have absolutely no tolerance for that. None. Okay, just about ready to get into the game. I guess I should mention it is available on Steam. It's available on Green Man Gaming. It might be available other places as well. I'm not quite sure, but I'll have links to all of that in the description. Now, let's get going. New game. Oh, I guess I should mention I did start it up just to run around the starting area just to make sure the game actually worked. But aside from that, I haven't gone anywhere in the game. Just want full disclosure on that. Perhaps you've seen it, maybe in a dream, a murky, forgotten land. Place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, 
in a walled-off land far to the north. A great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Things betwixt. Alright. Here we go. I'm kind of scared. It's the first time I'm actually seriously going to be playing Dark Souls. I am nervous. And excited. Let me explain something else, by the way. I think I have three levels of... I think there's three levels of hardness going on in this game. One is just that Dark Souls is really freaking hard. Uh, number two is that I'm not going to be using any outside help. But number three, which I have not mentioned, is the fact that... I'm not even entirely sure which way I'm going to control this game. Mouse and keyboard, or controller? It's one of the reasons I didn't play the original, is that I was really worried that I would be horrible at it, because I've never used a controller, really. I mean, I did when I was really, really young, but not within, say, the past 5-10 years. In other words, it might as well be as if I've never used a controller, because none of that, none of the, you know, muscle memory of using a controller from long ago is, is still with me. So I was thinking, I'm just going to be horrible at it. So that's one of the reasons I never played the original. But for this one, I actually bought a controller, and I practiced with it when I was playing through Ether 1, just to kind of get a feel for it, and I tried it a little bit for this, and I still am terrible with it. It felt incredibly uncomfortable to use, so I'm actually using mouse and keyboard right now, which is why I'm able to spin my view so fast. Yeah! Gotta love the mouse. However, looking at the controls, I think the mouse and keyboard controls might be kind of terrible. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens. So I'm going to go with mouse and keyboard for now, and I might have to switch to the controller, and if I do, I'm probably going to be extra terrible with it. Yeah, so that'll be fun. Hello, goodbye. A wandering spirit. I think that's from an online connection, right? That's actually somebody playing. I think so. Also, I'm a hideous, hideous cursed monster. 
Ew. Goodbye. Another ghost. Let's look around. See if there's anything in here. Also, this grass is exceptionally loud. I do wonder, what happens if I kill myself right now? Because I haven't touched a bonfire or anything. Let's find out! Don't have any souls to lose. You died. Yes. Yes, I did. I did die. That's what happens when you fall off a cliff. Do I have to restart the entire game? No. Okay. This counts as like a bonfire type thing. Oh god. It's gonna attack me, isn't it? Is it gonna attack me? Is this gonna be my first enemy in Dark Souls ever fought? Maybe not. They're everywhere. They're stalking me, it looks like, but they're not attacking? Hmm? Well, I can target it, so it looks like an enemy. Okay, well, if they're not attacking me, I don't have any reason to attack them, right? They're getting dangerously close, though. They're creeping me out. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore them for now. Just looking for secrets. Dark Souls is known for having many secrets. Hmm? In fact, what is this? Ooh! It's a secret! See if I can figure out how to loot bodies. A to pick up item. Yeah, I'm not using a controller. Is it enter? It's enter. Rusted coin. Temporarily boosts luck. Mm hmm. Crushing the coin temporarily boosts luck. This rusted coin give you the, uh, gives you the, that little extra bit of luck, making items and the like easier to find. Hmm. Well, now is not the time to use that, because I'm probably going to die very soon. I'll use that later on, when I actually kind of know what I'm doing. Hey, little buddies. They're kind of cute. Look at them, they're harmless. Aww. Another secret? Ooh. Oh. Uh. Are those footprints? Those look like footprints. I don't know if I like that. Why Why am I following the huge footprints? What do I think is going to happen? Yeah. That's kind of what I thought would happen. Maybe like the small little things? It's nice? Hi? I don't think it could fit through here, so... Looks like a hippo. Actually, I think it's actually based on a hippo. It really looks like one. Oh god! Yeah, okay, so uh, what I thought would happen happened. You don't lose items when you die, right? No, you don't. Okay. Yeah, I think you only lose souls, right? So I could definitely use a weapon. That'd be super nice. You know, it's not a particularly high fidelity game. They've improved the graphics on the PC port, I know that, but not by a huge amount. But nonetheless, it's actually quite beautiful. Really good art direction. That's pretty good looking.
Knock, knock. Seems to be the ruckus. Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear. Didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you will become one of them. Hollows prey upon men, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the girl. <laughs> what is your name? Try to recall your name. Okay, this is character creation. Um, I could be super uncreative and just call myself by my own name. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, because I'm terrible at coming up with names and I'll be here for like an hour if I don't. Are you sure of your name? Yes, yes I am. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Here's your reward for sharing. It's a human effigy. Take a closer look. What do you think it's supposed to be? Think back, deep into your past. Yes, it's an effigy of you. I like how they integrated kind of the, the character creation into the story. Really cool. Okay. Well, this is a bunch of stuff to go through, so I'm going to sort through it, pick a character, and I'll be right back. Alright, I finished creating my character. I just went with a warrior, kind of the most... The most standard kind of... Kind of class, I suppose. You know, one sword, one shield, that sort of thing. Pretty good dexterity. I definitely want somebody with high dexterity, and I don't want... Any sort of a magic person, because that just seems really difficult to play. I... Honestly, in all the playthroughs I watched... Of the original Dark Souls, I never saw anybody really being a magic person. I saw somebody tried once, and then for some reason they didn't really like it. I'm not sure why. But it didn't last very long. Almost everybody I've seen plays some sort of a warrior person. So, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. And I definitely want somebody with high dexterity, because I want to be someone who... ...dodges away from a lot of stuff. I want to be very mobile. Yeah, I don't want to be tanking in this game. I don't want, like, super heavy armor. In fact, I hope I don't have heavy armor with this. It's giving me a bunch of stuff, and I hope it's not heavy. Not sure how to tell. What the hell? Not sure where everything disappears when I click that. Anyway, that should be good. Also, my gift. So there's a bunch of things to choose from. Some are just obviously pretty good. You know, the this ring of old. This ring of old slightly increases HP. So some nice little bonuses, but I was really, really intrigued by this. This petrified something. A simple petrified lump. It may be of some use someday. I find that really intriguing. It's very mysterious, so I'm going to go with that and hope I can figure out something to do with it at some point. Just the thought of this little thing that I chose at the beginning of the game suddenly becoming a really significant thing, maybe 20 hours in, is just really cool. And of course, I've chosen my body, my face, and all that. Looking kind of cool, I guess. Not bad. Alright, let's go. All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm. 
doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going home. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. <laughs> That's disconcerting. Awesome. Bunch of stuff. More stuff. Now I get to figure out how to actually use my equipment with a mouse and keyboard. That's not what I meant to do. I almost stabbed her. I wonder if you can stab them. Not that I'd want to. She's the only one that doesn't look like some horrible old witch. Let's uh, have a chat with them. Okay. You must go on a journey without rest. Well, I suppose if you find yourself at an arm pass. But if your will is yet unbroken, then you may return here to start again with a clean slate. <laughs> I really don't like the way they laugh. <laughs> oh god, again. This is a limbo. A link between Drang Lake and the outer world. Fair traveler, I know that you must have a story. Why else would you visit such a place? This lost, decayed kingdom. I look like a really shitty warrior, don't I? My sword's all... Oh god, look at how chipped my sword is. Looks like it's about to break. And my helmet looks like somebody inverted a cooking pot onto my head. Oh. I block with left click. That just feels all wrong. That feels horribly wrong to block with left click. But it doesn't make sense, given that it's in my left hand. Alright, this is gonna be weird. I have ten life gems. What's a life gem? Is that like an Estus flask? I can't imagine they'd give me the equivalent of ten Estus flasks in the very beginning of the game. What's up here? Hmm? Is that souls? Oh, no, it's a human effigy. Oh yeah, you can still break stuff by rolling into it. Best part of the game. I don't even know how to sprint. You can sprint, right? Obviously I'm supposed to go the other way, but let's not forget this little beastie over here. And by little, I mean huge. Uh, oh. Gotta go back here. Can I be, like, left-handed? Because I'd really prefer to have my shield in the right hand. I probably can do that, but I don't know how. Can I? Oh. God. Wait a minute, I have all these weapons? I got, I got all of these weapons? I have all of these shields? Holy hell. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with stats. Hmm. 
Right. Um, longsword. Okay. I mean, this looks a lot cooler than whatever I had before. Why do I have so many things? Is this part of the pre-order bonus stuff? Because I know there's like some pre-order weapons and stuff. Is that what this is? I don't know. I'm going to hack and slash this thing and see what happens. I'm very happy that now right click is block because that's way more comfortable to me. All right, buddy. Oh god. <laughs> uh yeah. Bleeding. I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't even see how much damage I did to that thing. Maybe I'm meant to come back to that later. I'm going to try it one more time. Hmm, you know, that thing has kind of a slow attack. It is a long sword. Let me try something else. So if I use this, this is the default thing. Wait, that's not any faster, is it? No, that's not any faster. Homunculus Mace. Right, well, it's going to be a sword, so it's either... Yeah, that's a dagger, so I guess I'll just use this. It should be better, I think. Looks like it does more damage. Yeah, it looks like it's better in every single way, actually. Um. Oh, wait, I think it might require more strength than I have. Not really quite sure. I'm going to use it anyway. Let's take a look at these shields. God, there's so many freaking stats. I don't know what to do with all this. I'll stick with default. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, I feel like I'm... Uh, What's it called? Fat rolling? When you don't roll very far? In fact, perhaps I should take off my armor. Which one's the weight? There's so many statistics. I'm going to take off my pants. Somehow. How do I take off my pants? I don't know how to take off my pants. Whatever. I'll figure it out one day. I have a feeling I'm going to have to switch to the controller pretty soon here. Oh! Opportunity! Oh, yeah, alright, got it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so blocking it seems to work quite well. Oh shit! Uh. Alright, so it's doable. It's definitely doable, but I really need a faster roll. To be honest, I'm fine with wearing no armor if I can roll farther. I just don't know how to unequip my shit. Remove? Oh. There we go. Oh my god, I'm hideous. I feel like I'm still fat rolling. I don't remember how that worked in the original Dark Souls. But it doesn't feel like I'm rolling any further. So, I guess I should just put my armor on. really want to kill him. Retrieved nothing. Wonderful. Oh, 
that's a great start. Right, I gotta watch my stamina. So it looks like if I rebound his last attack... Well, shit. Alright, um, oh, you cannot pause when you go to the menu, should remember that. Right, so I'm battling the controls at the moment, so I'm going to be right back when I figure them out. Alright, discovered a couple things, learned how to put different weapon loadouts in and how to switch between them. Learned how to use items, it's shift plus right click, I don't know why, I'm still not sure whether I'm going to stick with keyboard. And I also learned how to dash. That's pretty cool. Also, I realized there's a secret down here. Look at that. Only... I... I can't seem to jump. Yeah, I can't seem to jump. Why can't I jump? Is it not bound? I'm pretty sure it's bound to F, which is a very strange thing for it to be... Yeah, it's bound to F. So how come I'm pressing F and nothing's happening? Strange. I feel like I'm going to need to jump, but for now I suppose I could just roll. I just accidentally used another life gem. Small, smooth, and silky stone. What in the heck is that? The shine of this stone is no ordinary polish and can only be achieved over a long period. Some in this land are in search of such stones. Slightly restore HP. Huh, sounds like it could be sold. Now, how do I get out of here? Oh. Oh, okay, I could have done that instead of jumping or rolling down. <clears throat> but we don't talk about that. To victory! More likely defeat. Oh yes, and I switched back to this old weapon, by the way, because it uses a lot less stamina to attack with. Much, much less. What are you doing? Why are you so pissed off? I was going to make this harder. You know, I'm not sure if I should actually roll away. It might be better just to dash. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. I'm dead. I don't think I can do... Yep. <laughs> it seems like he loses his balance even if I don't deflect his attack. Although deflecting his attack seems to force him. Uh, force him down. I know I can get him. I really want to get this guy. I think the entire first episode is just going to be me fighting the controls and fighting this one enemy. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm going to try sprinting away. Instead of rolling, because my rolls are very short, whereas my sprint is quite fast. I feel like my sprint's actually faster. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, that's not working too good. Maybe the shield doesn't guarantee it. Come on, tire yourself out, you gigantic piece of shit. That's a terrible idea. Alright, you know what? I'm going to a different enemy. I think I'll come back to you when I learn how to play.
I hope I actually can come back here. I really want to be able to roll further. I don't know why I can't roll that far. I thought it was dependent on how heavy your armor was. But I took off all my armor and my roll seemed to be the freaking same. It's just, it's way too short. Spend all of my zero souls. Travel. To where? Attune spells? I don't have any. Burn? Burn what? Oh god, I can burn a human effigy? Uh, use this item to reverse hollowing. Uh huh. Okay, I think I'll save that for again when I can actually play decently. I have an item box? That's neat. Right, so how come they didn't give me any more life gems? Are those not Estus flasks? Or maybe I started with 10 as just kind of a bonus for being new? Why can't I get you? Ah! Soul of Lost Undead and a torch. Could come in handy. In fact, I should probably shove that torch in here because I'm probably going to need it. Uh, let's use you. Where's my torch? Is that not a weapon? Five min. What? Is that the torch? The hell slot is that in? I don't understand. How do I use my torch? I did not mean to do that. Yeah, my life gems aren't going back up. Wow. I, I fucking suck at this game. Jesus. I can't do anything right. What does this say? Bonfires of places of res respite. You may also light torches on them. Okay. <laughs> How do I use a torch on it? Where even is my torch? Fuck, I think I'm gonna have to switch to a controller. This is horrible. If this is better than the first Dark Souls in terms of the PC controls, I can't even imagine how bad it was. Right, okay, I took a look around. I still have no idea how to burn my torch. As far as I can tell, it, it looks like the torch is not actually an item. I'm assuming this is the torch. It's not actually an item, but so much as it's just like, the more you get, the more it adds to your time, maybe? Like right now, it seems like I have five minutes. I don't know how to burn it, though. I mean, there's, an, there's a thing here to burn, which seems like that's where it would be, but it's not here. I only have a human effigy. So... Unless it's like, no. Get out of me, ghost. Anyway, let's go hit some things. Look at that view. Oh god. Don't these little transition white things from the original Dark Souls, didn't they pretty much always mean boss fight? I'm gonna avoid going in there.
Almost seems like I'm supposed to light these on fire. With something such as a torch. Oh god, another one of those. Right, well there's a million of these entrances. Can I even go inside of them? Enter the mist. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I want to do that. Ooh, messages. Hurrah for death. <laughs> Rate this message? Sure. Awesome. Lovely message. Illusory wall ahead. Oh. How do you activate illusory walls? Do you just walk through them or do you hit them? Good luck. Thank you. I'm going to rate that one up. I think everybody could use some good luck in this game. Death ahead. <laughs> good luck and then death ahead. Praise the sun. Indeed, praise the sun. Try bravery. Um, I'd rather just win. I'd rather be good. Being good's more important than bravery. Illusory wall. It's probably further ahead than this. Are you ready? No. Are you are you ready? No, I'm I'm still not ready. Praise the sun. <laughs> oh, these are wonderful. Oh my god. Praise the sun. Look at that sunlight. <gasps> Last message before coming out. Hurrah for two-handing. Majula. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Oh my god. See, this is beautiful art direction. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Really, the art direction is just so good. Beautiful. Now, what's gonna kill me? Ooh, pathway. Pathways and secrets and pathways and more secrets. Divine blessing. I can certainly use that right now. Of course, I have no idea what it does. Fully restores HP and cures all status effects. Ooh. I don't actually know how to switch items. So, that's kind of a problem. Do I have to, like, equip items? I don't think that's how it works. Actually, wait, yes it is. That is how it works. You have a belt. Neat. Okay. I suppose I should put that down there. Although I'm probably going to accidentally use it. Which would kind of blow. Yeah, I'm not going to put the other stuff on there. Okay. I might actually be able to get used to the PC controls. Man, this place is strangely bereft of anything that's trying to kill me. It's actually making me more worried than if everything did try to kill me. Where is everything? There's a person. Hello. Who might you be? Are you the next monarch? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. He who made Dranglake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrin. You may level up by the power of the Emerald Herald. 
Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. I have a feeling there's plenty of misery to come for me. Let's hope it stores more than one. Hmm. I wonder if I should hold on to these life gems. Probably not. Really? Weakness stabbing in the back, but okay. Classy. Visions of resignation. Wait, does this mean somebody died here? Did somebody run off the cliff? Did you run off... <laughs> somebody backed off the cliff? Hold on, I want to watch it again. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow, so you only get one Estus Flask at the beginning? Damn. That's horrible. Alright, where do I go? Oh, more deaths. How'd you die? <laughs> Did everybody die just by running off? Oh, whoa, what the hell? How did I do that? What? How, what? Huh? I didn't even have a pop-up that said, like, you could do that, did I? Okay, so you have to hold it. Oh, light the torch. I thought you could light it at bonfires. Huh. Alright, what I want to know is, can I light the things back here? Sprint to victory. Because it seems like they were meant to be lit. So many mysteries in this game. The smallest thing, I think, like back here. You know, can I light them? Is this, am I even supposed to be back here? Or am I supposed to come back here at some point? Set light. You can. Alright, what if these stay lit? I can't believe I'm actually playing this with a mouse and keyboard. And it's actually kind of working. I'm kind of getting used to it. Okay, everything's lit. Does it just make the place look pretty, or does it do something? Actually, wait, there's one up there. Actually, there's a bunch up there. How do I get up there? Uh oh. You know, I'm just gonna go into one of these and just see what happens. I think I'm gonna regret this. Is this actually the tutorial? Right, but of course, it's giving me controller buttons. Thank you. Yeah, okay, not too hard. Finally, I'm actually getting some souls thanks to the tutorial section. I would light that on fire, but I can't. I extinguished my torch for a blade.
behind enemy's back equals critical hit. Okay. Did I miss one of those headstones? Did I read this one? Oh yeah, to dash. Yeah, I know how to dash. They really didn't give a shit about PC controls, did they? It doesn't even show the right buttons. Yeah, I wonder if something special happens if you light all of them. Dagger. Don't care. Ooh, you... Oh. Let me guess. This tells me about blocking. Nope, tells me about roll. Step. As in, like this. Ow. Could have seen that one coming. This character feels really slow to attack. Life gem, cool. Use item, mm-hmm. Move camera? <laughs> I, I know how to move camera at this point. Hmm. You, you, give us more. What? What? It's an empty nest. Give us silk. Wait a minute. Give us silk. Give us silky. Give us silky. Damn it. This? How do I use it? How do I give it? Those voices are really creepy. How do I... I... I could use it. Is that going to use it up, though? Uh, all I did was use it up. I don't see a way to actually use it on something. Okay, I'm just gonna go now. Wait, how do I get on a ladder? Oh, okay. I just needed to kick it down first. How do I slide? Sprint? Yeah, sprint, okay. I wonder if I just missed out on something huge there. Smooth and silky stone. I mean, the smooth and silky stone had to be it, right? It had to be. Give us smooth, give us silky. Oh, can I get another one? Hmm. Oh god, Jesus. Build right weapon two-handed. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Jesus, that was powerful. Hmm. Is my jump key gonna work? Oh, you have to be dashing to jump. Apparently.
Amber herb. Oh. We're gonna pretend that just did not happen. Am I gonna come back at the main town place? I am. Yeah, there's a lot of controls to remember. I wonder if it's that difficult to remember the controls on the controller. There's a lot of them. They're just really weird, like holding down shift and lift clicking and holding down control and lift clicking to do various things. A lot of multi-function keys, which is it's really... It's hard to get used to. I'm not used to it. I'm used to space is jump. Control is crouch. W to move forwards. That sort of a thing. Scroll wheel to switch through weapons. I'll just go through this one. Why not? Nothing will go wrong. Search your surroundings. Alright. Ow. Oh, I see. Ow. down there. Aside from a monster. Glory awaits! Oh god, there goes most of my health. Yeah, okay, that wasn't glory. That was not glory. Felt like something very different from glory. Felt kind of like pain. Alrighty, let's try that again. By the way, isn't there some sort of a parry, uh, repost? I don't know what the correct term is. Isn't there some sort of mechanic where you can, like, deflect blows if you attack at just the right moment or something like that? Something of the sort. Anyway, I think I need to heal myself. Alright, how do I get down there without dying? see an easy way. Maybe... I really don't see an easy way. If I hit the bottom part, I'm gonna live, but I'm gonna have very little health. Maybe I'll go far enough if I do this? Nope. Son of a bitch. Go, go, go. I'm gonna get shot in the back. Alright, hold on. I'm a Dark Souls pro, yeah! I'm actually remembering. I'm actually remembering the buttons on how to uh, about how to use stuff. Like I can use ladders and pick up stuff. It's left shift plus left click. Very strange, but it that's how it is. Oh God, I'm gonna fight that big beast in a second, aren't I? All right, let me test out this parry thing. Do I have to block at the right moment, like right when they attack? Nope. Nope, that doesn't work. Maybe attack right when they attack? 
Nope, that didn't work. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's no way. There's no way. I'll get to him last. In the meantime, what's... Oh, I can kick that down, can't I? See, that's what I really love about Dark Souls level design, is how interconnected everything is. You advance forward and you can unlock a path back. Giving you a shortcut. Super awesome. Alright, so this is the last tutorial spot. Alright, might as well do this. Don't have much to lose, certainly not a lot of souls. And certainly no pride. And at least I actually have room to fight him. Oh, Jesus! Are you fucking kidding me? There's two of them. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> no. Fuck that. I couldn't even kill one. Right, I'm just gonna go here. I'm not going back. Forget that place. How did you die? You ran off, didn't you? Of course you did. <laughs> Everybody's suiciding. We'll see what's down here. Can I get up there? Don't think so. Now the real fight begins. You mean those huge troll things weren't the real fight? Try right. Chest ahead. Okay. Oh. So there is. What's inside? Glowy. Another rusted coin. Increase my luck. the sound of rushing water. <sighs> Here we go. Begin under. All right. Try jumping. Uh. Oh. Yeah, there's things down there. But how do I get back up? Oh, I see. All right, I'll head down there. Head down there in a second. How'd you die? Fall damage? <laughs> okay, so far everybody's died from. Oh wait, no, that's not fall damage. No, it's just because there's no. Uh, there's no bottom. You just sink. I, I guess you can't swim in Dark Souls. So many deaths. Stay calm, keep moving. I got this, I got this. Human effigy. Dead end ahead. Yeah, I don't think that's a dead end. Um, I think I have to jump from up there. Yeah, I don't think I can make it from here. Question is, do I want to? And the answer is, hell yes I do! That was almost nearly failure. Homeward Bone and Soul of a Lost Undead. I should probably look at what this stuff actually does at some point. But not today. I don't feel like it. Bye! <laughs> she just ran off. <laughs> nice. 
Oh my god, this game is beautiful. Really, it's, it's really beautiful. Item ahead, try right. Forest of Fallen Giants. I see a floating dude. I'm not sure if that's an animation bug or what, because he doesn't look right. He really doesn't look right. Item ahead. People keep saying that. Where? Here? Or does this just loop around? <laughs> yeah, it just loops around. Let me guess, you all died by fighting. How did you die? <laughs> Got hit by somebody. I'm not sure what their aggro range is. Oh! Alright, let's pull him back. So I guess these life gems are kind of like Estus flasks, except there's no limit on them as far as I know. Sweet. Alright, thank god, these things are very, very slow. It's <laughs> just a pile of blood trails here. Bonfire ahead. Cool. Wow, they're being really generous with these bonfires. Probably because it's the beginning of the game, I certainly will not complain about that. How did you die? Oh, I guess he pulled an enemy back here. See, all these people look so much cooler than me. Looks like they have better armor, better weapons. Oh god, I pulled two. <laughs> See, I'm a pro at Dark Souls. I'm so good. I'm so good, I don't even need to block. Yeah, it's going to take me a while to get a feel for how how long it takes for certain things to happen. Like, for a lot of that, I was actually holding down the block key, but it just takes a while for it to actually pop up and... Oh, yes, right. Enemies respawn. Fuck. Wow. Yeah, okay. I can't take two at a time. I'm so fucking slow. I'm so fucking slow. Slow to dodge, slow to block. I don't mean my personal reaction times, I mean my character's reaction times to when I press stuff. I'm wondering if that's because of my character build. Maybe I should have chosen someone else. I mean, it listed this as having high dexterity. There we go. I can take one pretty easily, but not two. I'm supposed to get tried backstabbing. Let's see if I can get that to work. Oh god, did I fuck, I just pulled two again. I gotta take one out right now. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, that one seems scared of me. Come on. Come on. Somebody with a bow, right? Yep, you. Oh. 
Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know what's up. I mean, when I, when I was watching people stream the first Dark Souls, I felt like everybody's... Everybody's speed to block and speed to attack was just so much faster than what I'm getting here. Come on. Come on. I suppose I could try a throwing knife, get his attention. Holy hell, that almost killed him. Got two again. All right, I gotta take this one out really fast or I'm screwed. I can just keep hacking slashing them as long as I get get my foot in the door and don't get interrupted, I'm fine. Hollow infantry helm. Ooh. Might be better than what I've got. Might get attacked from the back. Let me move. Let's see. Uh, no, it's a piece of shit. It's better in a couple stats. Doesn't seem worth it, though, because everything else is worse. Everything else is... There's only a couple things that are better. Most stuff is just... It's just worse. Hey, buddy. Come on. <laughs> it looks so... That looks so ridiculous running. Son of a bitch! Okay, dodge is definitely effective. More effective than running away. Need to use it more. fall in the water. Oh shit. Hey. I thought you're a dead body. Oh god. Oh, oh. oh. I almost got axed. I was about to say, I just realized they got rid of the ridiculous ragdoll physics where they'd get caught in you and like stuck on your body and flail about. You don't even, you can't even move them. On one hand, that's kind of a good thing. On the other hand, I'm kind of sad it's gone. Kind of sad. I liked it. It was charming. More souls. How do I get up there? I see a thingy up there. How do I get to the thingy? Get your stupid face out of the frame. Oh, it's when you're up there. You can probably jump down, yeah. Yeah, so far I'm really surprised how deliberate the combat feels. I was expecting it to be more fast-paced. I don't know if it's just that it seemed faster-paced when I was observing other people play the game, or whoa, god, or what. But, oh, Jesus! This is not good, not good, not a good situation to be in! Drink, 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 drink. Drink! Oh, fuck me. Look at that asshole knight of the tree, he didn't even want to help me. 
dick. Hey, friends. I feel a bit more confident taking them on now. And by a bit more confident, I mean a hell of a lot more confident. Ow. You little fuck. I really need to get my health unlocked somehow. I'm not sure how you do that. It's only at like half health right now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that run looks ridiculous. Trying to backstab. Didn't work. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, so they do three attacks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mostly rely on these life gems. One Estus flask is not gonna cut it. What's the slowest arrows in the world? Alright, so, uh, yeah. Not sure how to deal with this. I have like no time to use an Estus flask or anything. They're just, they're extremely fast at running. How many were there? Four? I see three. See so if there's like a time when I can run up here when they're kind of separate. I'd like to take one out before the other show up. Make things a lot easier. I am going for the one. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Yes, I am. Oh my god. Fuck me. There's some asshole shooting arrows at me too. I could run away. I should probably just run away. I think I'm just gonna like run out of there and see if I can get to a spot where they'll stop chasing me and then maybe I can get them one by one. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. In the meantime, I'm gonna see if this is viable. Yep, it's viable. Aha, uh -huh, can't get me. Oh, what the fuck? Seriously? I didn't know they can climb ladders. Well, alrighty then. Anyone else? Okay, that's the way to go.
I did not want to climb down. I wanted to grab that item. No. No. There we go. Life jam. I'm going to use one. Looks like from down there I might be able to get to that object. Also, I hear something growling. Breathing. Oh. Eh, he looks pretty normal. Are you seriously punching me? Why, why can't I fucking hit you? Hit. Hit. Broken straight sword at risk. What? I didn't know items can break. Also, I just broke my life. By dying. I didn't even know items had durability. Huh. Okay, well, I think I'm going to call it an episode there. It's going to be an extra long episode because I want some content of me actually killing something in there rather than me just fumbling with the controls, trying to figure out how the fuck to do anything. But I learned quite a few things. Um, I learned that playing on the mouse and keyboard is viable. It takes a lot of getting used to, but it's viable and I'm definitely a lot more comfortable with it than I am with the controller. I tried the controller a little bit in between some mic cuts. I just whipped it out and saw if it was any easier, and it's not. I mean, it's the game's obviously made for it. There's no doubt about that, but when you factor that in, but then you factor out the fact... Well, you take that into consideration, and then you also consider the fact that I'm terrible with controllers. The end result is that it's just better that I use mouse and keyboard. If I was really good with controllers, it'd be better if I used a controller, but I'm not. Also, I learned that Dark Souls is extremely fucking hard. Jesus. I mean, I thought it looked hard when I was watching other people play it, but my god. The timing is so difficult to get right. I feel so slow. Why am I so slow? So slow to, to block and everything. I don't know. I just wonder if I've built my character wrong or if that's just how the game is. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching me die over and over again so far, and I will be back soon to continue my infinite deaths.